right, so here he is, the undefeated middleweight contender, Paulo Costa. Most would argue this is the scariest power puncher in the 185 pound division at present. And I think for those that would doubt him, he answered a lot of those naysayers in the Yoel Romero fight, outlasting that freak of a man over 15 powerful minutes back in 2019. Paulo Costa appears destined for future greatness, but obviously a big test in front of him here tonight, one he is hoping to pass with Brian Myers. This guy has truly made the takedown a thing of beauty in mixed martial arts with respect to yourself and George St. Pierre and the truly great takedown artists. This guy's closing the gap and, and entering that company in the eyes of men. Oh, absolutely, because he's done such a great job of timing takedowns. You didn't see, I haven't seen anyone so good at slipping a jab into a takedown since George St. Pierre. Right. He does a phenomenal job of getting from step one to step two before his opponent even realizes, now he's in on my leg. And if they do get their hip back, immediately he's up into a foot sweep, or a headlock, or an inside trip. It's just so many different ways for him to get you to the floor that he will throw every single one at you every single time. And a lot of fighters talk about that wrestling maintenance and how hard it is, right, over the course of a career to continue to drill those things. He talks a lot about that, and that's why he's continued to realize success here in the UFC. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Eve Levine. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Bell Center in Montreal, Quebec, Canada. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC middleweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 13 wins, two losses. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Paolo, the eraser. And now we produce his opponent fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 18 wins, five losses, and one draw. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Marvin Vittori! Okay, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. They touch gloves and we are underway. Well, the tension is palpable as this fight gets underway and it'll be interesting to see how this matchup plays out definite striker on one side against another guy who can really do it all. And in those situations, normally the guy that's more well-rounded will be the one that will find success. I want to see how this plays out. Blocks the shot. Costa's now dealing with a cheat cut. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the feet. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land so many attacks. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. He is all about that left kick to the body. Oh, lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. Circling towards the left now. Can't take many of those. You better check. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Oh, setting up the left hook, but at a range. 
sound defensively blocks the shot. Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. All right, so he lands another jab now, just snapping that thing off, DC. I believe that the jab was lost in mixed martial arts initially, but now it has been found, and it's been found by this young man in this octagon tonight. Big punch man over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Oh, collar tie. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Back and forth we go. Double leg takedown attempt here, and that is a good attempt as he gets the fight back to the mat. It's ideal. His ideal situation just happened. He got it on the shot, didn't have to put too much effort to finish. Great job. Costa's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Under a minute now to go in the opening round. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Side control now. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by Costa. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Almost in range with the straight left, but that's a miss. Round two straight ahead. All right, that's the end of the round. And our cameraman all over that cut on the cheek. That thing is getting wider by the minute and only getting worse. Cut man gonna earn his money tonight. All right, a lot of high-level highlights from that last round, DC. Take us through the replay. If he fought like this, I would be comfortable entering him into a K-1 level right? kickboxing competition. He's that good at finding and landing those kicks at will. He needs to continue to do this as the fight goes on. All right, here we go as our next round gets underway. His strong leg packs so much power that even when he doesn't throw it full throttle, you see he's able to inflict damage. We'll see if he can keep it going here in this He round. doesn't throw it full power, but even when he faints it, he draws out reactions from his opponents because they don't want to get hit with any more of those kicks. It's a sight to behold. Oh, big hook. That'll leave the mark. Blocks the shot. Oh, and he just keeps on coming with these shots to the liver, looking to buckle him once again. Buckled him earlier in the fight, and the fighter is still open to damage there as he continues to target that sensitive area. Effective punch there by Costa. Oh, damage done. Bleeding from his cheek now. Moving to his left now. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Nice. Hey, finally gets the takedown. It wasn't for any lack of effort, but finally that shot was good enough to get his opponent down. I don't know how many times, John, I could have watched this guy shoot takedown attempts without securing one. It's almost like out of pity. You feel good for him to finally get it done. Now what does he do with this top control? Man, this is some serious ground and pound. He's trying to put this dude's head like through the canvas. He's one of the better ground and pound fighters we have in the entire UFC, and you're seeing what. How about the volume of kicks out of this fighter tonight? And it really speaks to just how much a fighter can develop in three to five months away from the other. Yeah, he's doing a fantastic job of showing the evolution of his game in this kick-heavy approach. And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. What a body kick. Oh, working the body to great effect. So a combination of kicks from him, and most of those found the target, DC. The kickboxing is on point tonight. He's so sharp, and he feels so good that he's throwing multiple kicks in a row. Two 
Huge strike lands there. Somehow, his opponent stayed up with him. I mean, he's still on his feet, but he's not up by much. Back to the feet. 15 seconds. Guys, really throwing with authority. All right, let's get you a replay from that previous round. It was the big knockdown, courtesy of that kick, that that nearly closed the show for good. It almost closed the show, but nothing's more discouraging than when you get somebody hurt that bad and you don't shut the door. He has to go back to work now, knowing that he's got about as tough a guy as, if it, as he's ever had in front of him in the octagon tonight. All right, next round is now underway. Previous round, not necessarily a tough act to follow. Pretty good, not good. Pretty good round, but not the best round. Sometimes that's what you get when you have fighters that are so evenly matched. Whoa! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Secures the takedown. Oh, he continues to attack that bloody cheek. His face is a mess. All right, north-south position now. We'll see how he chooses to proceed. Oh, he's got the knee on the belly. Could be trouble defensively. Timely defense there. Huge block for him. Oh, there's the double leg takedown, DC. That is just too good, too easy. Too good, too easy. The timing was just too good. Before he could even defend, he's already off of his feet, going backwards. It's hard to run backwards. This might be the biggest shot of this entire fight. He lands a massive hook to put his opponent on wobbly legs. Oh, and he lands another takedown here, just doing a nice job, not telegraphing his shot, clean entries. The Olympians gotta like what he sees. I mean, over and over, he gets to the legs before his opponent reacts. By beating him on the entry, now it's up to the opponent to keep up. But this guy's playing chess. His opponent's playing checkers. He's playing chess. He can't keep up. Once he gets to his legs, he's gotta beat him defensively before he gets his hands locked around his legs or his body. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High level grappling can really be entertaining. All right, great position for him here. He's got the full mount. See if he can get that ground pound going. Oh, he's got to get it going, but he can't rush. A lot of times, guys get in the full mount and they rush, they get nervous. They're like, oh my goodness, I'm winning. The reality is, you're winning, but it can change in a matter of seconds because then they can be gone. He's got to drop his hips, be really heavy at the opponent's base, and then just start to work. Make the opponent give his back so that he can try to get Whoa! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. Oh! He needs to start looking at the finish line because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Now he's on top of him. Look at the it! Oh! And there comes the stoppage. Unbelievable. I should say so, a tremendous kick to end that fight tonight. Caught his opponent flush, full force, full extension, and he had no chance to stay in this fight. Fight was over as soon as that kick made flush contact. Inside the octagon, Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 12 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout, Marvin Nicole. All right, so there he is, the man of the moment, celebrating one of the bigger knockout victories of his career. And that'd be nice sometimes with all the hard work that you guys put in when it goes down exactly the way you do it. A lot of people talk about doing certain things. It's harder to deliver on those promises you make to the public. Tonight, he did exactly that. Congratulations.